welcome to another, sorry if that was bright, full day of eating. So I went to the gym this morning with this full day of eating. Obviously guys, this is just kind of take it with a grain of salt. This is not necessarily how I eat every day. It's meant to give you more of inspiration, but I like giving you guys a glimpse into just kind of like how I make my decisions. You guys love the gentle nutrition piece that I put more of in the last full day of eating. So we're gonna do that again today. And this is really just what I teach members of the society, my membership, how to do. So the eating pattern that's feeling really good to me right now is if I do an earlier morning workout like I did today, coming home, I don't necessarily like feel like jumping right into like a breakfast, like a big breakfast. So what's feeling really good to me right now is just having like a snack and then having a later breakfast. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna use some gentle nutrition here and I'm going to have some cottage cheese. And I honestly like to use cottage cheese as a dip. So I'm gonna dip some crackers into it and do that. So here's my thought process behind this. I haven't really necessarily wanted to eat anything large when I get home from the gym, but I know, and this is gentle nutrition, that my body could use some protein after lifting weights and moving it in the morning. So I chose the cottage cheese, not necessarily to be honest with you, because I thought like, man, cottage cheese sounds delicious. I chose it because I'm like, it needs to be used and there's only a little bit left. So I'm gonna do that. And I like to eat it as a dip. So that's what we are going to have right now. And I have pretty much a full day of just like computer work. So it's not gonna be super exciting, but my husband's cooking dinner tonight. So we have that to look forward to. So I'm going to finish this and get to work and I will see you for actual breakfast, which I'm excited for. Okay guys, so breakfast time. Now I'm ready for like my bigger breakfast. Last full day of eating I did, I told you that I prefer to have veggies versus like fruit in my oatmeal. And I like veggies because I feel like it's sturdier. Like fruit just gets like mushy to me and it's not satisfying to me. I said I also like carrots and it like doing like a carrot cake oatmeal. A lot of you guys asked like what my recipe was for that. Don't really have one, but I figured we'd make it today so you can see how. So let me set you down and we'll put that together. Okay, so I have that all here. I'm gonna go ahead and just simply mix it up and then pop it in the microwave for like two to three minutes. We will be back. Okay, so while that's in the microwave, I got this, I've been eyeing it for a while. This mixed nut butter, I got it from Costco. It's okay, I, I think it's missing almonds. I don't believe there's any almonds in it. And I just think that like almonds add some, oh, there is almonds in it, huh? Well, I don't know, it's missing something. It's good, but I'm not in love with it. I know there's a Trader Joe's variety too, so if you've tried that, let me know in the comments if it's better than this. Like I said, it's not bad, it's just not as like, wow as I thought it was gonna be, but I'm gonna put some of this on it. And also pro tip, if you store these upside down, it's less mixing, so definitely do that. So I'm gonna go grab that, it should be done, and we can eat. Anytime Theo smells, I'll give you some in a minute, okay? Anytime Theo smells nut butter, it's like, yeah, so he's obsessed as I am. <laughs> Mixing this all together, oh, so gooey and delicious. Got fat in there, got carb in there, got veggie in there, got protein in there. I love oatmeal like this because it just like packs everything into one punch and mm, tastes like carrot cake. Now the key I think is the vanilla, I actually have vanilla ice cream flavor protein and the pudding mix, that's what makes it sweet. You can also add like maple syrup if you're not adding protein or something or something like to add some sweetness in there. Love this stuff. There's nothing like a warm bowl of oatmeal on a cold day. Mm. like a big sandwich. Aww. 
So we have on here, I made this week a big batch of my five ingredient turkey salad with grapes. It's like chicken salad, but with turkey. So I can link to that. I have it on my blog in the description. I made that earlier this week and I've been using it in different ways. So yesterday I actually had it on a salad and then today I'm having it on a sandwich. So I like to kind of change things up and you can use kind of the same like meal prep, but use it in different ways. You could also put it in a wrap, put it in an omelet. I mean, there's so many different things that you can do. Bread wise, I love this Dave's Killer Bread. We store it in the freezer, so I lightly toasted it. It makes me feel fancy and I need enough all the bread. So I did that, put some tomato on there. Oh, love good juicy tomato, loaded up with lettuce. And I love just, like I said, I've said this like eight times, I love a good sandwich. So that's what I'm having for lunch today. And then I also grabbed the rest of the grapes and I'm just gonna munch on those because I like to have a little bit of something sweet as well. Yeah. So that's what I'm gonna have. I mean, protein, carb, some fruit, some veggies, some fats. I use whole milk Greek yogurt in the salad. And you can also put some almonds. I put that in my salad and you can also fold some in there. And that is what we're having for lunch today. I realize it probably just looks like I'm like sitting here all day. I promise I'm going to my office and actually doing work. I also made such a mess when I was actually making this. All over my face. The key to a good sandwich is when you have to stretch your mouth and you can still hardly fit the whole thing in, that's when you know you got it good. Oh shoot, I'm making a mess. All right, I am grabbing myself some coffee. And one question that you guys ask me a lot is do I eat everything that I make? Because you guys know I always say listen to your hunger and fullness to guide. And I feel like at this point with my intuitive eating journey, I pretty much can gauge how hungry I am. So like I typically do eat most of the things that I make. So like the full sandwich, I ate it. I had the grapes there, those I just ate to my satisfaction. But like when I make a bowl of oatmeal, I would say usually I do eat the whole thing because I'm pretty good at gauging it. But there are days when I'll leave it, I'll put some in a container. I hate food waste. So I usually always try to put something in a container and I, will eat random leftovers. And I think that's also something to note is that your meals aren't necessarily, sometimes you just have to be practical. Like earlier this morning, I didn't necessarily want cottage cheese, but it was fine, it fit the bill. Sometimes you just have to be practical. That's what we call practical hunger. And we talk about that a lot in the society. In the beginning of this journey, there is a lot of, you might make more, you might make less. But like I said, now I've kind of dialed in pretty good, but there are days when I'll leave some, I'll take some, it just depends. I realized also last full day of eating, I was picking out a countertop for our basement remodel and we have that in. So let's go show you that. It's not super exciting, but I like it. So this is what we went with. Nothing like super fancy, but this is the unit here. So I like it. We're gonna put shiplap up and kind of like frame it. Kind of like we have on the TV there and ship lot behind it. We're gonna do the same thing for that. And then this is gonna be like a slide out, almost like this right here is gonna be like a slide out, almost like kind of like spice recy thing. And then if you're wondering, this is where I'm spending the rest of my day today in my very, very messy office. And I will be putting Gossip Girl on the television. So that's my plan, sticking to it. I'll see you later. Stay. Stay, stay. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, go ahead. Go, oh, boy. Yo. Okay, oh my gosh. I swear days that I just sit at a computer all day are like the days that my brain just turns to mush. Like I swear sitting and like focusing at a computer is more exhausting than actually like getting up and having your body move. Let me know if you feel the same way. We take Theo for a walk in the evening. So my husband should be home in a little bit. I need a snack, I need something. I'm not like super hungry, but here's the deal. Sometimes you just have to use what we call practical hunger. Talked about this a little bit earlier. I'm not necessarily hungry right now, but I know that if I wait till dinner, then I'm gonna be starving. So I'm just going to try to avoid those extremes of the hunger scale, something that we use in the society to give myself some nourishment now. So I have some muffins that I made yesterday. I'm really not that hungry. I might just grab a muffin. I was gonna have a yogurt, but I'm not that hungry. 
I might just grab a muffin. So I made these muffins yesterday. I'm gonna put the recipe on my blog. So whenever I photograph them, I always do like a nice bite shot. So this one has a bite out of it, but yeah. So I'm gonna grab this one. Yeah, that's all I'm feeling right now. Do you guys like my hair? Let me see if I can turn around. Okay. I think it needs to be a new style. Took Theo for a walk and sport my hairstyle. It's Wednesday, so my husband cooks dinner on Wednesdays and you guys asked for a full day of eating when he cooks, so we'll see what he makes. Lately he's been cycling through recipes that they had a lot growing up, so he's up there cooking and I'm watching Gossip Girl. We'll see what Chef Joe is gonna make. And this is something that my old food rules like would never allow was for me to give up control of cooking, but now I like it. I'm just gonna relax and wait for dinner to be done and enjoy it. And I think it goes beyond just the food itself too, but the eating experience and it's truly like an act of love and showing appreciation for each other. So I love it. Okay, I took my weird hairstyle down. I ended up going back for a little bit more than I had actually put on my plate when I was packaging up the rest of dinner to put in containers. I just needed a little bit more today. So had a little bit more, no shame in that. And now I am making tea, you guys. Tea in the evening is like my jam and this sugar cookie sleigh ride, this stuff, is the bomb. I'm gonna make some of that right now and just relax. I find that a lot of times when people ask me like, ah, I just feel like I'm you know, mindlessly eating at night. A lot of times it's because we're searching for something else like comfort or you know, just stress relief. And sometimes we don't necessarily want the food. We want that feeling. And so if sometimes tea, it can give you that comfort, but you shouldn't use it in place of trying to like curb your sweet tooth, that's kind of how I approach it. But I am probably gonna grab a piece of peanut brittle. I do pretty much have dessert or something sweet every night. You guys know this if you've been around here, but I'm not like super hungry. But like I said, I do have kind of that, what I call taste hunger and it's important to satisfy that. So I'm probably gonna grab a piece of peanut brittle, have it with my, I'm gonna peanut brittle kick. We have all of like our holiday goodies right now when I'm filming this, like our house is stocked. And it's also something to know is that we've had all these goodies I'll show you. I haven't wanted them at all today. So I've kind of like reflected on this full day of eating and I'm like, I didn't eat anything crazy. Like if you look at the day, it's probably pretty quote unquote like healthy. Like the muffins I had were made with almond flour and almond butter. And I had a sandwich with, you know, pretty much all natural ingredients in it. Like it wasn't anything crazy. And I just think that that's what food freedom is you guys. And that's my version of it. Everyone's gonna, version is gonna look different. I, you know, can eat all the stuff when I want, but that doesn't mean I necessarily have to force myself to do it. I think that with social media, a lot of times we can easily get the idea that, okay, well with food freedom, you have to have cookies and all that stuff every day. My house is stocked right now, but listening to my body today, like that's not what it was craving. So while this is kind of a, you know, the last full day of eating, I had a piece of cake, like that's just what it is. It's not the same every day. And I don't necessarily eat, you know, all of those, previously deemed bad foods like that every single day, this is how my body naturally wants to eat. So long story short, I'm gonna grab some peanut brittle and freaking go downstairs and relax and go to bed. So I hope you guys love this full day of eating. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe, hit the little bell so that you're notified every time a new video is uploaded. And also let me know what types of full days of eating that you guys want to see. Cause I know you guys love these videos and I could honestly film them. Like, I feel like I could just release one every week and you guys would be happy and they're fun. I like them. What are some spinoffs that you'd want to see? Like some ideas were eating your recipes. So if you sent them into me, eating your fear foods or breaking your food rules, lots of different ideas. So let me know in the comments what some of your ideas are that you have that you'd want to see kind of like spinoffs so i will see you guys back next week with another video it's peanut brittle time